Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to create this uh, fantastic organic rose window. We will start in the first tutorial with the 3D structure and then we in the second tutorial we are going to create the glass system and that will be controlled by gradient tools like you can see on the right. So if you like the video, like it and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's start creating the circles which defines the rose windows. So we start for, from curve primitive circle we set 0, 0, 0 as the center point so we create the point construct point we give 0 to all to all the coordinates ok and we create an inner circle and an outer circle So we duplicate all of this. We create two radius, so one of uh, five for the inner, one of fifty for the outer. Sorry, value max 50, okay, and then 50 here, okay. These two lines delete, okay. Now we create another exterior circle, uh, all it defined the external part of the rose window. So, copy this. I edit the values, I bring it to 55 and 55 to this is the thickness of the exterior part. So first of all I create a, a boundary surface. So surface, free form, boundary surface between that okay and then I define the thickness of the rose window and so I extrude in Z direction the starting surface I want a bit more so I, I choose 5 okay perfect now I extrude the inner uh, circle of the same quantity values. So extrude, copy. I bring the the value between them. Okay. And the right thickness of the window okay I want to extrude this circle the little circle okay now I have two surfaces and uh, I can work with uh, crystalline so I open crystalline plugin and I voxelize the space I voxelize the space with uh, uh, crystal V2 morph between the surfaces and I give uh, I, I'm uh, clicking shift so S S
which one is be wrap yes um, I have to create another surface because this one is be wrap and uh, this MBS take uh, um, take a surface as, as input value so I copy this and I take only the inner curve for the moment I delay the preview of this and I delay the preview of this after we will reuse it disconnect this now I want to act this is this is the inner core I take it and extrude and now the MBS is working and now here I have my exterior part I can write it the rose window I will take at the end of the tutorial okay now We have our voxelization that is that is uh, not uh, red anymore. So I create uh, um, it take uh, inside a range of values uh, from zero to one, um, and so we create a range. And I connect here. I connect here. And here. So, how many subdivision I want in uh, this direction? I want. Let's try five subdivision. In this direction, I try five. And in this direction, I try five. So let's see what happen. In this direction, I want only one subdivision. So let's see which one is okay this is perfect now I want only one subdivision in that direction in the other direction I want in this direction in radial direction I want more subdivision so I create a slider of 20 and uh, I change the maximum values to 20 okay and for the Z, the, the, the third direction, I think it's okay. In every moment we can change after. Important thing is for this tutorial that this, this uh, parameter is set to 1. Now, we have a, um, uh, a division of the volume of the space in voxel each one of these is a voxel now we are going to populate it so we go to the section populate and then we create we want a lattice fill so we connect the output VU to the input VU of CLF now uh, we are going to create uh, the unit cell to create unit cell we uh, create a, a crystal VU to cell type and uh, we create um, a US that, that is unit cell selector so uh, we create the selector here and then we will go to choose uh, our our geometry our, our unity cell When, I cre when you create the unity cell, it uh, creates a cell too, only a cell here, you can see. This is our cell that, uh, he, um, that uh, the, this, uh, this uh, uh, components bring to all the box cell. We make some evaluation now. Uh, for example, we create a valid curve and, w uh, and we see what happened to the curves. So, um, the L output is a, a, a um, uh, series of line like curve. So, we create curve container 
and uh, we uh, reparameterize it. If you want to see what 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 is the meaning of reparameterize, you can see the my tutorial uh, related to the argument. Um, now we evaluate curve. And we see what happens if I move this slider. Okay, you can see that when in each line, when we are at zero, we are at the starting point. When we are at one, we are uh, we are at the end point of the curve. So we can easily use uh, variable pipe to uh, thickness the geometry. So. Uh, we use pipe variable we can delete evaluation and the parameter to curve I connect the curve to the variable pipe and uh, and now we have to give a range of values uh, a range of uh, uh, values between 0 and 1 to define the t ok, 10 values are ok but uh, we create the parameter the same the same time ok, now we create we end, and we connect it with t now we have the create a relation between this and the radius so we can create a graph mapper we have these values inside and uh, we uh, select our kind of graph the, of graph the graph that we want I decided for this kind of graph so it will be, have an input the value of the range and it will be in output the values of the radius so I will see what happen and uh, and uh, we are going to move this this curve to select the, the shape we want so maybe in the central part uh, is a bit too small we can decide to increase this we can play with it until we find the right the right design we want it's good but I want to increase more the the end part I want to be I, I want to, the pipe to be large at the beginning and um, very thin very small at the center so I increase, I grab this point up ok now it's going to see a lot of a lot uh, organic but look the conjunct, the join joint point is not, is not good is not good. We we can fix it working on the a parameter, a input parameter of uh, V pipe. So we can select round. It will create a sphere at the end. Perfect. Perfect. We have our geometry, basical geometry now we have to shift to the mesh so we can join all the part we go from B-Rep to mesh
it requires a bit of 8 seconds to, to evaluate uh, we flatten this uh, um, this uh, component because after we, we do mesh join mesh sorry we go to mesh util mesh join remember to flatten this now we have a uh, we exit only just only with a, with the mesh is perfect It's our mesh. If we bake it in Rhino, we choose the level in which bake. And we select uh, don't draw any preview geometry. It is our organic structure. And I think it's a very good result in very few time. Perfect. So we we delay this, and we go back to to Rhino, to Super, Sorry. Okay. We can also work now with the uh, central part is a bit too is a bit too big. Maybe we can shift to four. Naturally, there we require uh, some time to do it. It will require some time. Yes, now it's better. Now what I want to do is to create the inner circle. It is very easy now because we have this circle. We create a boundary surface and we extrude this boundary surface of the same quantity, of the same value of the previous extrusion. So now we have this part that we bring here we have this part and we have this part so these are our geometry that, that defines the structure of the um, rose window in the following tutorial we create the glass for this rose window.